channel so today we have another cooking video and we are going to make lasagna so we have our seasonings here we have oregano and Italian seasoning mix we have ground cumin sea salt garlic and onion powder mix we have sour cream and pesto a pound and a half of ground turkey our cheese blend is right here so we have sharp cheddar gouda parmesan and mozzarella cheese okay i have these oven ready lasagna noodles from aldi but i'm going to boil them first because i just don't like how it tastes when you put them straight in the oven out of the box okay so let's get our noodles boiling and then get started so the first thing, well the second thing, because we started our noodles to boil and now we're gonna cut up our onion and green pepper. A quick trick, if your eyes water when you cut up onion, is to not cut off both the ends at the same time. So just cut off one and start from this side and start to chop it up and your eyes won't water. Trust me, it'll work. I stumbled upon it one day I did it by mistake and I'm like hey my eyes are watering what did I do and I retraced my steps to see what I did and I hadn't cut off both of the edges so I did it again a second time and I was right I don't know why exactly why look it up on Google or something but if you do not cut off both sides of the onion your eyes will not water Okay, now that our onions and peppers are all chopped up, we're moving on to phase three of this dish, which is our meat. We have our ground turkey here, and again, this is a half a pound of ground turkey. And we are going to season it inside this bowl and mix it up. That's just my preference because I feel like the seasonings are more evenly distributed when I do it this way. So we're gonna go in with the oregano and Italian seasoning the ground cumin, the garlic and onion powder mixture, and the sea salt. And we're just going to mix it all together. Make sure your hands clean. Get down in there. And mix it up. Alright, it's all mixed up and I taste the difference. If you guys try it, you may taste the difference um, seasoning your meat this way as opposed to putting it in the skillet and then seasoning it. But I love doing it this way and it's all mixed up together. You'll have a bit of flavor in every bite. So we're going to put our onions and green peppers in a pan, saute them, and then add our meat. So we have our skillet heating up with some butter. And we're going to season these with a little garlic. See, see, when you bit of sea salt, a little garlic powder, and some Mrs. Dad. Just a pinky bit of sea salt. Anybody want no salty lasagna? 
but you want to flavor your dish from the bottom up so every element of your dish needs to be seasoned. These onions and green peppers reminded me of last night, y'all. I made some. I should have filmed it, but it was it was literally on the whim because it was the night before grocery shopping, and I had some good juicy steak. But I usually do steak and potatoes because I love steak and potatoes. But I didn't have any potatoes, so I'm like, hey, I'm about to do steak and egg. And oh my goodness, it was so bomb, like. I seasoned the steak, of course, with like sazon and some other things. And then I put some parmesan, some sharp cheddar, um, some scallion onions, and green pepper in those eggs. Woo! It was so good. But cooking these onions and peppers right now is making me think of last night. Steak was so good. That steak and eggs was so good. But we're going to let these cook down. A little bit more and we'll be back okay we're gonna check on our noodles our noodles they floating in there get down in there get down in there Eat again you guys if you want to just put them in the oven you can I think it's less cook time in the oven when you broil them, even though they say oven ready. That's just my um, preference. Okay. And you want to cook them until they're al dente because they're going to cook even more when they get into the oven. So I got a big pot because I got a lot of noodles. I'm cooking this meal to last us for two days. Oh, the pot. Our onions and peppers are ready for us to add in our ground turkey. And there's our ground turkey and we're going to just keep chopping, chopping, chopping and mixing it because we want small tender pieces. We want it to actually be ground up, small tender pieces. Alright, our meat is done and ready to go into the pot with our sauce. These are the sauces we have. Tomato, onion and garlic pasta sauce from Aldi. And we're about to mix it all together. We're going to season the sauce with the exact same things that we seasoned the meat with. Let it cook a little and then start to build our lasagna. There's our ground turkey in our pot. This is the same pot that we made our noodles in. We just rinsed it out and we're going to use the same pot to make our sauce. Minimal dishes. So there's meat. We're going to pour our pasta sauce in. Now for one, get all you can out of it. And number two. Garlic powder, onion powder, onion season. Our 
oregano. Ground cumin. And we're gonna give it a stir and let it cook down. So we have all our ingredients here to start mixing our lasagna. We have our sauce, our noodles, our cheese. Remember that sour cream and pesto and now we're gonna mix this together, okay? shredded parmesan okay be generous with this so that we can have a good that little top that be like the burnt cheese but good mm-hmm mm -hmm. put it all over cuz cuz you can never have enough parmesan I'm just ready for it. Okay. Just dump it all in there. Yes, us, all of it. Okay. Then we're going to put some parsley on top for color. Because I just like how it looks. It just makes me feel fancy. Put the parsley on top of you fancy. Okay. So if you want to be fancy, you should some parsley. It don't taste like nothing, but it looks like a whole lot of something. Okay. All right, we're going to pop this in the oven, and we'll be back when it's done. Our lasagna is out of the oven, guys. We're going to let it rest for a while before we cut into it because it's going to be hot. But it's looking good. Looking good. 